guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're in Marrakesh. Yeah. Uh, in Morocco. And we are just about to give you a review of this lovely Riyadh that we're staying in just right behind us. Yeah. So basically, previously we've had a lot of like compliments and questions about the different villas and hotels we stayed at in the past on our travels. So we decided we're actually going to begin to do hotel reviews and Riyadh reviews. Villas, you name it. Basically accommodation reviews. So yeah, here it is. Marrakesh. So today we're giving you a full lowdown on Kisaka Spa and Spa. So this is a Riyadh based in the old town of Marrakesh. This is quite close to the Medina so that's about 10-15 minute walk and right here we have the kitchen staff. So you could get food throughout the day at this Riyadh. Breakfast is included but everything else you have to pay extra. So I'll take you right through to this beautiful area. A Riyadh is a traditional Moroccan house or palace with an interior garden, pool or courtyard. So in this instance we've got a beautiful plunge pool right in the centre with a lot of seating area around it and the sun here comes right through so you could enjoy the temperature of the sun. It's absolutely beautiful, plenty of opportunities for photos. Whether you're up to sit in the shade or not you could still take beautiful photos. This Riyadh is quite beautiful in the sense of that outside, right next to you, your neighbours are the locals. So you can sort of start to indulge in the culture right away. In order to access this Riyadh, you will be walking through the local markets. And there's just so much beautiful space within this Riyadh. So I'm going to take you upstairs now. So there are no lifts in this Riyadh, it's strictly just stairs. However, if you are unable to get upstairs, there are some rooms downstairs. Our room was on the first floor. There are a total of 11 rooms in this Riyadh. Each room has a name assigned to it and our room was Minara. And I'll take you through into the room now. So it's an absolutely um, beautiful room. We absolutely loved it. So the bedroom is nice and clean and airy. A lot of whites have been used. A lot of wood, natural wood tones. There's a desk as well there if needed, nice artwork, it's just beautiful um, and then they've got a window as well. So this is really nice for letting a lot of light in and also just nice fresh air as unfortunately there wasn't an aircon in this particular room. We've also got a full length mirror, this was absolutely handy and then of course there's a safe in there so if you need to put your passports or anything important and then they provide bathrobes, bath slippers and I shall take you through to the bathroom now. So it's got a lovely stained glass window on there and then through here we've got a his and her bathroom sinks. Beautiful, I love them. And then and again another window to let in a bit more light and the stained glass effect, beautiful. This particular bathroom that we had had a shower and a toilet. If you do require a bath, there are family rooms available which do have baths in them. So going upstairs now, just mind your head as you go up. So up here is another level. There is a room again up here. I think one of the biggest rooms is actually situated up here through a big group. And then um, we have the beautiful terrace. This is just a really nice place to just really hang out. You eat your lunch and dinner here as well. And, or you can eat it downstairs but it's just really beautiful sights a lovely place to just get the sun you can see there's a lot of seating areas here as well so you could lay on the sunbed or just take a little walk around and obviously you can capture photos of people from any of the two levels below so that's really beautiful so the Riyadh also does provide a lovely spa and hammam area and also of course free Wi-Fi across the different areas of this Riyadh so wherever you sat and hanging out you can access Wi-Fi which is amazing and at the top we've got this beautiful terrace it's got a nice breeze to it a 360 view of the whole um, town which is beautiful you can see the sunrise here the sunset absolutely beautiful and price wise here we pay £116 per night and that was booked on booking.com quite last minute to be fair and that's the price inclusive of um, city tax that you have to pay each night which works out to about just over £2 a person so yeah you could pay less depending on the room size, the amount of people, the days, the month, the season and it is definitely cheaper if you paid 
for it directly so if you contacted the hotel via email or their website you'd find it's a lot cheaper than through booking.com so that's just a tip for you guys but either way however you choose to book it if you could just please mention that you've watched our video the Sanyas and Tin and Conge and you would like to book it because of us so if you just mention that either the booking.com comments or when you contact them through email or their website thank you so much for watching hopefully you absolutely enjoyed this video and thumbs up if you did so we know if you'd like to see more of these videos please be sure to subscribe and comment below what you thought and we shall see you in our next video bye